Alright, this is a um, full moon reading for uh, Scorp a Scorpio. Um, a Scorpio. A Scorpio Collective. Um, so this is the Salmon Moon, Buck Moon, Thunder Moon, Hay Moon, Wolf Moon, Old Moon, Raspberry Moon, and most importantly, the July Full Moon um, Lunar Eclipse in Capricorn. Um, so, um, I, I did this a little bit different. I did this with um, the tarot cards versus, uh, well not versus, like with the horoscopes and the planets. So then people would have more of a perspective of what's going on and how it affects their horoscope, their luck, their this, that, and the other thing. Um, so, anyway, we'll get right into it with how can you expand your ambitions? Um, we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is um, like a Cancer in uh, Venus. So if you have a Cancer in Venus or somebody that you're interacting with does, um, their energy could be acting upon you. Um, so you can, um, you know, it could be a spouse, true love, uh, soulmates, good friendships, um, feeling, feelings being shared, um, happy relationships, mutual feelings, union, harmony, uh, sympathy. The Two of Cups is, you know, love, couples. It could also be friends, too. Um, so this could be a friend of yours that, you know, comes over and helps you out or makes you feel better or what, whatever the case may be. But you you do have, um, you're on the same level. You're, you're really good friends. You both are maybe, you know... You don't judge each other, which is good. So that's what I'm feeling with this. Um, so, let's see. What you have achieved so far, um, under the Capricorn Father energy. Um, let's see. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, um, it's actually in reverse. Um, it feels weird being up. Um. So the Nine of Wands is going to be a Sagittarius moon. So it's either you, somebody you interact with, um, things like that. A Nine of Wands is um, overcoming obstacles. Instead of overcoming obstacles, maybe you're stuck in obstacles, which could be very difficult. Um, experiencing delays, um, plans being canceled feeling let down, um, nothing going right, everything taking a long time, so maybe you're facing a lot of delays, um, maybe you're dealing with a person at a desk, um, maybe at the airport that says, no, the plane's not loading yet, or the plane's delayed by two days, and it's just ridiculous, and you're just like, what do I do? Um, but, yeah, it happens to the best of us. But overcoming obstacles, you know. Um, and, you know, a lot of people do that. Where they overcome obstacles. They overcome naysayers. They overcome bullies. They overcome other adversities. So, um, it's just another notch on the desk, if you know what I mean. Um... Anyway, what realities must you face? Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is usually like uh, hard work, um, understanding, um, patience. Um, so, and it's a Virgo sun. So it's somebody that's that sees you for who you are. Virgos are grounded people, so they, they kind of, you know, they're kind of Capricorn-y in that way. They're, they, they're more influential. They're, 
a dad figure. They're, they're like, you know, they're nurturing, but they're like, you need to do this, this, and this. Like, <laughs> their, their uh, guidance comes with a cost, and they're going to tell you what you need to hear instead of what you want to hear, and that's kind of the double-edged sword of a Virgo, but it, it, it'll get you where you're going pretty fast. Um, anyway, it's the mastery of a subject, being an expert, making money from your passion, money from teaching, authority in your niche. So, yes, it's going to be a very grounding energy for you, um, where you're going to have to refocus into your energies of doing that. Um, so... Oh, what restricts you at the current moments? We have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is like, hmm, a romantic um, knight in shining armor, um, Prince Charming, or Princess Charming, that could be a thing. Um, <laughs> we're gonna make it a thing in this. So, um, yeah, and it's a Libra Scorpio. So this could be your spouse, um, somebody that you're dealing with, or somebody that has that energy on the Libra Scorpio cusp. Um, I think that's really close to the end. I think it's the end of... My brain hurts. Um, I think it's the end of October, if I'm not mistaken. It's it's in that sector of it, I think. Um, or it's... Uh, I don't know, but you can look that cusp up, the Libra Scorpio um, cusp, and find out exactly what's going on with that and what that energy is. Um, anyway, the Knight of Cups is... A Prince Charming, True Love, Knight in Shining Armor, Loving Intentions, a Trustworthy Partner. So, uh, this could be a restriction because um, maybe they want to do couple things and you're kind of like, I need to get my business um, stable. <laughs> and it's, it's kind of like you're damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing. And, uh, you know, you're, you're kind of trying to balance both. And with the Libra Scorpio energy, um, could be hard at times. But you will find, um, a comfortable balance, um, with everything. Love and, uh, <laughs> career. So it's going to be teetering for a minute. But, um, it should be fine. Anyway, Scorpio, if you like this reading, leave a like. If you like what I'm doing, um, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, ideas for my next video, um, leave them in the comment section below. And, you know, a lunar eclipse is really getting down to the truth of things. So, a lot of bad's gonna come before the good. So, just be aware of that. Um, you might be looking for your happiness. You might find it. Um, an even balance. Um, so, whatever the case, I hope everything goes well. Um, it might be frustrating at times, but do have patience. Meditate in your own energy. And you should be able to achieve what you set out to do. Anyway, I will see you in the next reading, Scorpio. Have a good one. Bye now.